Well, hello again. Um, this is the short video I said I was going to make at the uh, end of the last video. And um, it's about the uh, drones that are swarming the Navy, the US Navy exercises. Um, yeah, dr drones swarm, or UAPs swarm US Naval exercises. And uh, I've always said that if you actually look at where they're they're doing this. If there's any drones reported over US military facilities, they're always right on the coast or they're offshore. It's an offshore naval exercise and I've said it sort of suggests that drones are being launched from a submarine or a ship and they're, they're looking around you. They're going to be terrestrial adversarial. They're not going to be ET. And uh, <clears throat> I've come across a video uh, this week on the Dark Seas YouTube channel which I thought was really interesting. I'll leave a link to it below. It's only the first it's only the first 10 minutes of the video that deals with this particular subject, but it's well worth a watch. And uh, apparently the Chinese have got a bulk carrier they operate out of uh, Hong Kong called the Bass Strait, and it's equipped with a drone swarm. So it's not just the Russians that are spying on the Americans using drones, the Chinese are doing it as well. And I've always said it's going to be terrestrial, adversarial. It's not going to be, these UAPs are not going to be ET, looking at the American Navy exercises, you know. I mean, ET is not going to be very interested in our military. I mean, it's like, it's like the ants wondering if I've got any ant powder, really, isn't it? You know, they're going to get annihilated. <laughs> they're going to get annihilated. <laughs> Annihilated regardless, it's not worth them worrying about it. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be wondering whether the ants have got any countermeasures <laughs> to the ant powder. Um, ET is not going to be interested in our military. We could offer no realistic challenge to anything ET, uh, to any kind of ET attack. So, um, I thought it was very interesting. I'll leave a link to it below. So, check out that video about the Bass Strait bulk carrier that launches drone swarms to do spying. Um, you may recall as well Harry Reid, uh, Senator Harry Reid, um, and he said, it's Vlad, in the independent newspaper, I'll leave a link to that article below as well, where he said the, um, the, uh, the drones swarming, the UAPs swarming American naval exercises are Russian. Now, um, funnily enough, David Grush and um, Luis Elizondo actually reference Harry Reid, but they reference him in a completely different light. They give the impression that Harry Reid thought ET is coming here, that UAPs are extraterrestrial. Not the case at all. If you actually uh, read the article in The Independent, Harry Reid is saying that he was annoyed that uh, they didn't say they knew what they were at the congressional hearing. Why didn't they say they know it's the Russians? instead of saying, well, they're UAPs, we don't know what they are. Probably because it would not it would have been a little bit politically um, maybe unacceptable to say we know they're Russian or we know they're Chinese. These, uh, these objects that are swarming our, our Navy exercises, maybe they will be embarrassed to, to announce that. Embarrassed, maybe. Maybe politically sensitive. Uh, but um, that's why they just refer to these things as UAPs when they knew all the time that they're terrestrial adversarial, adversarial. So I'll leave a link below to the dark seas regarding the uh, the Bass Strait bulk carrier with the drone swarm and the article from Harry Reid in the Independent. Um, so uh, you can you can have a look at that. But the bottom line is. You know, whatever's, whatever these drones are that are over the uh, um, Navy exercises or they're taking a look at the military installations, the American military installations, they're uh, terrestrial, adversarial, they're Chinese or Russian. And I've said on videos previously that if you actually look where these drones, these UAPs are reported over military installations and over naval, over naval exercises, the military installations are always right on the coast. And of course the naval, uh, naval exercises are off the coast, but it lends itself to drones from ships, drones from a submarine. You know. They're never miles inland where they see these UAPs over these military installations. They're always dotted around the coast. 
And that's because they're coming from ships, adversarial terrestrial ships or submarines. Now, um, <coughs> I uh, saw on um, Simon Holland's channel, you know, the plastic professor, <laughs> uh, that he's spoken to someone at SETI and um, asked them if uh, they'd heard any ET techno signatures and he was told no. And uh, I left a comment on his channel actually, and he left it there surprisingly, saying uh, it's a shame he didn't talk to this guy before he put out all that science fiction rubbish about us, or the Europeans, talking to ETs in real time. And uh, the BLC1, the Breakthrough Listen Candidate Signal number 1, being an ET techno signature. You know, why didn't he just talk to SETI in the first place? And he also, <laughs> and find out that it was science fiction rubbish, but of course, you know, he likes to he, li he likes to talk all this nonsense up for the, the Google ad money. Got to get the Google ad money in. That puts out a lot of science fiction rubbish. Now, he also asks us, the SETI guy if the general public will be told if they found a signal, or would it be kept secret? And the guy at SETI said, no, we, we would tell you. It would not be a secret. Now, I uh, do talk to people professionally involved in SETI from time to time. Radio astronomer. And I've asked them, when I've seen stuff on his channel, I've asked them about it and they've said no. You know, this is, there's no, we've heard nothing about it and, you know, basically if there was anything to it, we would have heard something about it. Um, and uh, I've asked them, would it be secret? Would it be kept secret if you actually found an alien techno signature? Do you have to dis, do you have to sign uh, non-disclosure agreements? You know, and they felt about laughing. Said, "No, there's no NDAs. If we found something that we knew as fact was an ET techno signature, it will be announced to the public." So uh, that's that, that's the score with SETI. If SETI finds something they know as fact, it's an ET techno signature. The public will be told. They're not going to keep it secret. No one's going to get killed. No one's going to be threatened with death for uh, <laughs> telling anyone that they found an ET techno signature. Alrighty, so just a quick one. As I said, I'll leave links to those uh, to, to the video and to the Harry Reid article below. Take a look at that video. I think you'll find it's very interesting. The, ba the Bass Strait bolt carrier operating out of Hong Kong, with a, fitted with a drone swarm. And uh, it, uh, it, it, it fully explains all these drone swarms that the Americans are seeing over their naval exercises and over, over their military installations along the coast. Terrestrial adversarial drones. Chinese drones from ships, Russian drones from ships and submarines. That's, that's all it is. Okay, well, if you've struggled through this video all the way to this point, Shouldn't have been much of a struggle actually, it's only a few minutes long. As always, many thanks for watching and uh, maybe I'll catch you again.